Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Jimmy Ventura, with me is Gorilla Mezzo, and welcome to Friday, yes, Friday Night Stand Firm. Absolutely, what a way to cap a wild week. It is Friday, we are heading into the weekend, folks, get excited, we're here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, the city so lame they had to say it twice. And folks, we have got one hell of a Friday stand firm for you. But first, we just got to endure the big boss, Mr. Jim McMahon, coming out to set us all straight, I think. Oh, I quite like Mr. Jim McMahon. <laughs> I'm sure you do, bootlicker. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking banged on. <laughs> All right, and here he comes. He does not look too down for me. I mean, he always looks a little down, but here comes Mr. Jim McMahon. Let's hear what he's got to say for this Friday night stand for. Yeah, it's Friday. Definitely Friday. God damn it! I want you losers to grab my brass balls, god damn it! None of you are worth an ounce of TV time as it is. These fucking Yorkies, Foxamania, GBG, Foxamania lost to Goliath, that dumb giant, on Monday. Well, I tell you what, they're not worthy to carry my company, and I'm gonna find someone who can. <laughs> I gotta pause though. Right, here we go. Tony's a fucking has been and a failure as a GM. So he's a bit of an idiot. He, I thought he was the guy that he's not the guy. Uh, and you know, they've got to say that the cream rises to the crop. Oh yeah, but I say fuck that. I am already at the top. So if there isn't anyone good enough to carry our top belts, I'll do it my goddamn self. And tonight. I challenge JBG for the world title in the main event. See ya. Well, look at that. It's still going in the I, I, I'm saying see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jim McMahon putting himself in the main event, getting himself a title shot <laughs> against JBG, and that is the World Heavyweight Championship. That is an exclusive belt to Friday night. That's why it's Friday night tonight. And the only way you would see a title shot on Stan Firm would be on the end of your weekday. So that is now our main event. Mr. Jim McMahon versus JBG for the world heavyweight title. Poor JBG. But before we get that, we've got more title action in store for you. Night Demon, the long-standing Wemdope champion, bringing out all the guns tonight. Six feet down under, coming out with him, going up against Otter Oil, who has been uh, visible in the last month. Yep. <laughs> I think that about sums up Otter Oil. You can't say he's been terrible. You can't say he's been great. He's certainly been in front of the TV a few times in the last month, Jim. Yep, he's he's been there. <laughs> he's he's wrestled matches before. And now he's been there, and he is coming here. Otter Oil versus Night Demon for the Wem Dope Championship. Night Demon, the longest Wem Dope Championship run we've ever had since that title was born in the early fall. He doesn't look to have any interest in losing it. Came pretty close against PTK, or excuse me, against Purple Chest a few weeks ago, but the old man had to tap out and go to bed. Let's see if this younger little buck here, Otter Oil, can get the job done. The contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the Uh, no, uh, no, 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 Rusty. It was it was a mystery. It was a mystery who'll be the champion defending it against. Uh, I can't remember who. 
Um, that match scheduled for Monday night uh, should be, um, uh, I believe, Dave, Dave is going to get Dave. a title shot against the Dave. winner of, of this match. Will it be Night Demon? Will it be Otter Oil? We don't know. Maybe Jim uh, fucked up the card a little bit, up Frosty, but yeah, then we're going to have to take a... Uh, even though we've got three days between now and Monday night, when Monday Night Claw occurs, we are going to have to take a quick pause after this episode to set that card up properly for you. <laughs> it was Dave. It was Dave. I did it right. Dave! Yeah. This Frost is just, uh, just fucking Frost with us. Look at this, it's new music for Otter Oil. Pretty good as well. Oh yeah, I do like this. Whose is this? Uh, Hideo Itami. Oh, nice. I thought that would be a good shout. And I'm glad I'm right. <laughs> Feels good to be right! <laughs> Man, everyone fucking up in chat today. Lee and Garrett not even noticing the music change. <laughs> Somebody doesn't have his headphones in. Who? Lean Gary. All right. I thought I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> is it coming no, out my? No, is no, it no. coming out my screen? <laughs> no, no. Shut up. We're fine. We're wow, wow. For I know it's been a long, troubling week. <laughs> Good lord, stop doing that with your mouse. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, need to put that here. You, Are you, you playing Battle Brothers or something? Why does your mouth look mouse look weird? Can you see it again? I can see your mouse. You when it comes up, yeah, oh, it's like shit. a crosshairs. Oh well. You, you are playing Battle Brothers. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. They can't see it, so it's all right. I told you, man. I've got to manually do things. <laughs> <laughs> And here he is, your Wem Dope Champion, bringing out all the guns six feet down under. Gonna be in Night Demon's corner, the Undead Trio. Night Demon doesn't have his belt. Oh. Well, I don't know why. <laughs> Pretty sure this was listed as a title match. Yeah. I don't understand it. Well, we'll find out. Regardless, the title is on uh, on the line tonight. <laughs> oh, dear. And the two guys not competing in action tonight going to pose in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Just because. Just because. <laughs> Oh, one dope is very much a real title. All right, there it is. Yeah, that was really weird. Just didn't. Now he's got it. Well, I don't want to know uh, where he pulled that title out of. <laughs> Olympian Otter Oil, fair enough. Introducing the champion from New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing in at 320 pounds. He is the underground champion, Spike Dudley. <laughs> Only joking, Here of course. Here we go. The prettiest belt in all of professional wrestling, Night Demons Wem Dope Championship on the line up against the brawler known as Otter Oil, who's gonna take home that beautiful fucking title. Oh yeah. Somebody is, probably. Hopefully, that would be weird. Oh, and stiff punch right off the bat from Otter Oil. But then 
turning around. No, countered there by Otterwill. He's got a good game plan coming into this one. Working a bit of, he might maybe has a little bit of a power advantage, definitely a height advantage on Night Demon and trying to make that work. But Night Demon, so technical and quick, double leg takedown right into those punches. And now here comes Night Demon. Oh, yeah, he's, he's going to get bad. Probably isn't he? about to zombie him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, he's going to get fucking battered. <laughs> oh, beautiful suplex there. I don't know, Otter Oil has turned it on as of late, but Night Demon is a stiff competitor, if you get my drift. <laughs> yeah, I'll see what you did. Oh, nice counter there by Otter Oil. Six feet down under, playing nice thus far, standing back and watching. Full confidence in their leader, and that's why... <laughs> Oh boy, full Nelson suplex there. <laughs> Five count already. Six. Looks like Night Demon has no problem trying to bring him back into the ring for the win here, though. Champion's advantage means he certainly doesn't have to. Yep. Oh, what a counter there. Sweeps the leg, Johnny. <laughs> Otter Oil stomping away. But the counter back, big back body drop there. And now Night Demon, no, no, a shoulder check. Otter Oil, these two. Uh, Otter Oil's got him a bit scouted here. He's got an answer for just about everything. But does he have an answer for the zombie that can come basically at any time? That's the big question mark in this one. Nice, no, true. Well, I, I know it is because I said it, Jim. <laughs> Well, you know, it's hard for us to say anything except <laughs> Well, here we go. Right? <laughs> My God, Night Demon. <laughs> and he's got him up and down, and can he kick out of this? He's got the big hook on the leg. Oh, he does. He does two and a half count kick out. Night Demon going to have to go back to the well. Does he have more in there? Going for that vicious neck crank. Otter Oil in serious trouble now. Surprised he kicked out of that zombie at all, but he did. But here comes a nice counter there by Otter Oil. Oh dear. Oh dear, what a suplex by Night Demon. Going for the pin again. Oh, but just a one count. Otter Oil fired up, and what is happening here? Cranking that neck as far as it'll go without breaking. Yep. Otter Oil needs to turn this around, get some offense in. He's showed some resiliency thus far. He's showed some tech technical acumen, but he's really going to have to turn up the heat here. He does not have a lot left in the tank after that zombie. Adrenaline can only carry you so far, and he knows it. Look at this, going for the full Boston Crab. He's got it locked <laughs> in, middle of the ring. We've never seen that in matches before. Whoa. Oh, God, he bounced off the rope. <laughs> that was pretty violent. Significant was. damage done by that Boston Crab. Night Demon spitting blood, internal hemorrhaging. Yep. <laughs> oh, look at this. I love this suplex. Hooks those legs. Unprotected fall. Picks him right back up. And oh my gosh. <laughs> Just ragdolling the taller man here. He's got him. Ooh. Oh, two and a half. One more time. Night Demon thinking it was a little bit of a slow count. I don't agree with him on that call. So he's just going to try and put this away now. Here comes another zombie. Can he hit it? He's got him up. He's got him down. And here comes the three count. <laughs> <laughs> and he's there going. it is. Night Demon victorious once again. Thanks for playing Otter Oil. Night Demon's got a date with Dave in just three days' time. A fighting champ. What can you say about that? I don't know, because I gotta let my dogs in. <laughs> oh.
Oh, glorious. Thank GG you very much. GG great match at Otter Royal. <laughs> All right. Wendell. Well, there they are. So dominant. The six feet down under trio. Yep. Glorious. Another one glorious bites domination. the dust. Oh, Ansi. <laughs> Oh, and speaking of Ansi, here is the triple yes. set between the uh, Plum Plum right. Pluses. Absolutely, and scary times in store here. Ansi, Lebred Mask, and Papa Piccolo, winner of this, will get a Plum Plum Pluserweight title match against the champion Elliot on Monday Night Claw in just three days' time. But the loser of Glorious. this match, the first no, loser, I, I should say, the first in. man pinned in this Until triple title elimination victorious. match. And I will defend. We'll be fired. I will Mr. Defend. Jims McMahon. Come waving on. that band Avoid hammer. The brain worms. One more time, like he was an American social media company. <laughs> and uh, one of these men will not be employed for the weekend and uh, the foreseeable future. Who is it going to be? Yeah, unbelievable. And uh, thank you very much, Nancy, for staying fantastic for 10 months. And let's hope you can avoid the brain worms. <laughs> <laughs> I still got the fucking money in the bank. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I meant to remove that. Fuck. <sighs> Somehow did not get the title off of Elliot, getting one more chance. But in order to get that chance, he's got to put his career on the line. Scary times indeed for LeBred Mask. Equally so for Ansi and probably triply so for Papa Piccolo, who's uh, <laughs> probably the favored first pin in this match. Yep. Dude, I can't edit my emotes. I'm pissed off. Here he comes, Antsy. <laughs> I can't fight his half a little. <laughs> well, Flicky Flack. It's not like you're doing much fighting these days anyway. Couldn't even make it on the card in the Jim's McMahon era. Don't know what to say about that. Yeah. Oh, speaking of the card, I don't, <laughs> I don't know that I've done the right thing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What'd you do? I'm not sure. I've, I've, I'm just not sure it's right now that I think about it. But never mind. Oh. I mean, it was a long time ago when I did it. I probably did it right. Okay. I just didn't check it before the start. You know, I should have checked it before the start. Again. Well, we will see how <laughs> Friday. <laughs> And if I even bother doing any more shows <laughs> with Jimmy Ventura in the book. <laughs> I mean, I probably did it right, you know? But I should have checked, I just haven't checked. So. I did change the uh, music for Otter Royal and stuff, so hopefully I did. Well, that I, was didn't take, I didn't yeah. take the money Glad in the ass. Glad we did first, so. first two minute match for Yeah, yeah. yeah. And here he comes, Papa Piccolo. If he's nervous about tonight, it does not show. Walking out like he owns the world, the Bretonian Lord himself. Papa Piccolo. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Who's got COVID in in uh, COVID? I was gonna ask. Oh, dreamy dream. Oh, that sucks. Didn't he just have a match too? 
think he didn't he j like literally just have a match with Keith Lee. <laughs> oh, oh and he's starting <laughs> off with two <laughs> wilds. The, the the opening hurricane flurry does not pay off for Ancy, but he's not the one taking the damage. Papa Piccolo getting <laughs> Papa picked on by the bread mask. <laughs> oh God, I hope I hope not. I hope not, JBG. That would be very sad. I love me some Keith Lee. I haven't seen a single match of his in WWE, but he's like <laughs> the nicest dude on the planet. Talk to him about Pokemon for like 20 minutes before a show once. That's amazing. And I don't even play Pokemon. <laughs> he does, though. Glorious. <laughs> yeah, he loves him some Pokemons. You can't imagine a big badass guy like that enjoying Pokemons, can you? Well, he's got like Pokemon on his fucking tights, so. No, it's Or he did. I don't think he does in <laughs> WWE. Oh, what a poison <laughs> Rana there by Papa Piccolo. Where'd that come from? And just like that, another head injury for Ancy has to roll out of the ring. The bread mask working, working on Papa Piccolo there and right back from Papa Piccolo. But hey, outside the ring is not the worst place to be when the very first pinfall will end your career in this match. Hello, Discotti. Hello. <laughs> not bothering the bread mask. Oh, <laughs> what a maneuver there by Ansi taking over and now Papa Piccolo rolling out of the ring, Labred Mask getting worked all over by Ansi. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Ansi it would be a fucking mercy for you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> And here comes Triple Threat, another poison run into the head! And <laughs> again, rolls right out of the ring. Oh man, they certainly have him scouted. Game for the head. Amazing. <laughs> Third poison run, Ansi down and not moving well right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's up! He says he's up and he's good to go, folks. Hasn't thrown a punch in a while. <laughs> Still hasn't amazing. thrown a punch. Oh god, he just stood there. The running knee, Ansi having some trouble. Having some big focus issues right now. <laughs> <laughs> fell over, but somehow fell into the back of the knee. A Papa Piccolo and took him out briefly. Ancy's got the bread mask up. Big maneuver coming, gonna hang him up on the ropes there. Papa Piccolo beckoning him in for a fight, but gets kicked in the dick. <laughs> and cool shoulder breaker. Ancy going for the pin. Could he do it? <laughs> no, two count kick out by Papa oh, he's, Piccolo. He's, he's gonna finish but him. This might not be a two count. Is all oh, the bread mask gonna break it up? Oh, he failed. <laughs> the bread mask somehow failed to break it up. Papa Piccolo takes the... the. Oh, no. Oh, no. Pin him. They had him pinned. They had Papa Piccolo pinned. Now the bread mask going back to it. Might be too late now. Good day, cocky. Oh, kicks out. Did it Two on? count kick out. Papa Piccolo's career was on the line there. He, he was pinned if they had gone right after him. Bread mask got a little bit distracted. No, Arcleo, out of nowhere! Oh. Arcleo out of nowhere, not going for the pin. He wants another. No, he doesn't. Oh, what a counter on the Poison <laughs> Rana and the pinfall. Oh, only a one count. Just the one count. No, oh, another Arcleo! Oh, another Arcleo! Oh, another, another Arcleo! But he smartly rolls out of the ring. Nancy somehow staying alive here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no one beats Vitas Garolaitis 14 times in a row. <laughs> and nobody poisoned around his fancy four times in a row. <laughs> oh, wow, Ansi getting in there. Somehow connecting. Absolutely. Another kick out there at, at two.
Nice drop kick there by Labred Mask working on Ansi. Oh dear. Tree of <laughs> what is Papa Piccolo doing? Oof. For some reason, oh, maybe not. And now Labred Mask posing. <laughs> Antsy down but not out. Labred Mask going after Papa Piccolo. The self rock bottom, the busted open forehead. We've seen this at matches before. Two, Two count again, somehow kicking out. Antsy yelling at no one there. <laughs> Blasts him. Blasts him in the face. Yep. The bread mask a long way away from the danger right now. Uh, Papa Piccolo and Ansi fighting on the outside. Ansi missing with the super kick there. Ref not counting. It's a triple threat match. There are no count outs. Again, first man pin will be fired. Winner will get a title shot on Monday, uh, Monday Night Claw. Monday? Oh, three days to wait. I know. <laughs> well, I hope you got big plans for the weekend. <laughs> a lot of football action here. I think the Bears really have a shot against the Saints. And, uh, you know, those Steelers, always impressive. Certainly no way they could possibly lose to the Browns. Hey, Marzim, you out in the crowd? You can go fuck yourself because I think the Steelers are going to lose. <laughs> and here comes Flim Flop Plex. Two count kick out again. Dear me. <laughs> he runs around and hits the ref. <laughs> oh, dear. And then just... <laughs> what a maneuver there, though. Lands Ansi on his head. <laughs> and a one, one count Ansi kicking out again. All three of these men have taken a ton of damage. <laughs> nice counter there to get out of Labred Mask's asshole, apparently. <laughs> no, no, he broke up the finisher. Papa Piccolo broke up the finisher on Labred Mask. <laughs> To go get that side suplex. Is he going to go for the pin? He's going for the pin on Antsy. This could be it for Antsy. This could be it. Ooh. No, a two count kick out one more time. Oh, stiff kick to the head, though. That's his one weakness, folks. <laughs> Repeated blows to the head. <laughs> but in many ways, he is like Mick Foley. He's the kind of guy you could take 42 headshots with a chair and still keep coming back. Standing stomp there, the coup de gras without the jump part. Stands up antsy now. Oh, big right hook. Whew. That's it. That's it for antsy. That's got to be it for antsy unless the bread mask does exactly this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. oh is he's this it? Into the pin. He's pinning the wrong guy. Maybe he's not. Oof. Oh. <laughs> The bread mask, two and a half kick out. Antsy stirring now. Antsy's <laughs> career <laughs> just flashed before his eyes. The bread mask saved him. What a flurry here. What a round for Papa Piccolo. Oh gosh. <laughs> he set all the way off the ropes and into the ref. And what a punch and low kick there by Antsy. Arm drag takedown. Antsy firing up here. <laughs> misses with the kick. <laughs> and gets drilled and dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Elbow drop there by Papa Piccolo. Antsy smartly rolling out of the ring. Can the bread mess put away Papa Piccolo? No, he sends him outside of the ring instead. Going top rope. Oh, oh dangerous, dangerous situation here. The bread mask about 50% off the top rope usually. <laughs> <laughs> well, whoever thought they could make a 50% a four plus. I'm not in Jim's book, that's for damn sure. <laughs> 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 
right that could have broken ass. his cock six, folks. It could have done, couldn't it? <laughs> Holy shit. That was brutal. <laughs> right on his bread ass cheeks. <laughs> 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 and back in the ring, Papa Piccolo and Ansi firing an upside suplex to Ansi. Papa Red Piccolo's look really feet, good, but doesn't staggered. he? Yeah, he sure has. Oh, here we go. What a maneuver. <laughs> Into, holds on to the leg for the pin. This has got to be it. Shoulders. It is. It's it. Oh! Up. No, he kicks out two and a half again. Stomped on by Ansi, and both of them now picking on Papa Piccolo. Oh, boy. Well, that's going to change. Ansi uh, shifting his attention to LeBred Mass. That might have been a mistake. And here comes Plim Plum Plex. Oh. I don't know why Papa Piccolo is trying to break that up. Neither Two do count, I. count, kick out again. I think Papa <laughs> Piccolo weakened that pin a little bit. The Plim Plum Plex not getting the job done. <laughs> Ansi out on his feet. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Bleeding profusely from the head. <laughs> what a match we've got going here, folks. Oh, and Nancy trying to dish out the head trauma instead of taking it this time. <laughs> Bounces his head off the turnbuckle. <laughs> And does not follow suit with a uh, respectable maneuver there. <laughs> but here he grabs the leg. Oh, he's going for the figure oh, four. Looking to make him tap. Looking to make him tap there. No! Gets turned over. Now Ansi in some trouble. Has to break the hold. The bread mask in going right <laughs> after no one. <laughs> what a maneuver. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ansi might have him. Nancy might have him shoulder breaker onto LeBred Mask. Goes for the pin on Papa Is Piccolo. This Is this it? Oh, I think so. Two count kick out again. What a match we've got going with these three. It's almost like their careers, their <laughs> livelihoods are on the line. Nancy with the chop oh. block to Papa Piccolo, and he pays for it. That's a oh, dual maneuver it? used against him. That's going to do it for Ansi, I think. It is. And it is. The bread mask eliminates Ansi with his own maneuver. Ansi is no longer employed by the JFW folks. Oh, boy. Rip Ansi. Thanks for resubscribing earlier, <laughs> Ansi. Get fucked. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 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 Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> and now it's down to two. Papa Piccolo and LeBred Mass have kept their job. Who can get themselves a title shot? What a match we have had in this one. Yeah, it's a good point by Bezel. You can't expect to beat the Friday Night Footboy on Friday. <laughs> and this is yeah. Friday Night Stand Firm. Friday. It's definitely Friday. Totally Friday. <laughs> it's Friday somewhere, that's all that matters. Yeah, probably. Action back outside the ring. Yep. <laughs> well, what can you do, Ansi? I mean, you know, Papa Piccolo has been uh, compared to uh, Okada frequently. <laughs> well, something tells me the brain worms will be here long past all of our deaths. <laughs> Speaking of death, uh, Papa Piccolo bleeding profusely out of his forehead and uh, the bread mask bleeding profusely from his fucking chest, it looks like. And presumably anus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, running kick. 
drops Labred Mask, Papa Piccolo. Oof. Papa Piccolo really dominating this match. He had a lot of pinfall attempts against him and soaked a bunch of finishers, but he just kept going. And look at that kip up right back up and in. Another, oh, another kick to the head there on the bread mask. Yeah, this really is impressive. It really is. <laughs> yep, unsee. Oh, multiple drop kicks there. <laughs> Three in a row. Drops him off the ropes. Incredible. That might do it for Labred Mass. Oh. No, two count kick out one more time. That's true, Ancy. It's taking you like a fucking month to get the Brie, goddammit. <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> I'll see if I can get more done this week. I've just been... Uh, just been busy working, doing uh, other editing. This this month is a little bit tight for me. Uh, real work. Jim Shaw. Uh, well, sort of. Oof. This has been an epic match, and it looks like Papa Piccolo trying desperately to put this one away, get himself a nice long break over the weekend, and come into Monday Claw fresh for his title shot against Elliot. Yep. No, no, Frosty, not this week. Or not, yeah, not this week. Maybe next week for, probably not for Claw, because I'm probably going to be watching football all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> But maybe for uh, Stand Firm next week. <laughs> Let's see what you did there. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at this. Running kick. Boom. Running super kick. That has got to be it. That's got to be it for LeBred Mask. It's got to be. Mushrooms. <laughs> and it is Papa Piccolo outlasting them both, getting himself a title shot. Folks. I know there's a weekend between now and Monday Night Claw, but look at this man. He could be your next Plim Plom Cruiserweight Championship. It is Pop Up Piccolo. Look at his eyes comfortable in fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, well, the Steelers are like one of the biggest fraud teams I think I've ever fucking seen. I said that when they were undefeated. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too concerned about that game. <laughs> Unconcerned. Not concerned. <laughs> Alright. We've got the tag team match now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Tag team, two former tag team champions, a long standing rivalry. Doss Hot and Doss Hats and, uh, and uh, dressed for business, gonna go at it one more time here. We do not have much of an understanding of what will befall the tag team division now that Cock and Ball Torture have their grubby mitts all over those titles. Who will be facing them for the titles at the Royal Rumble? <laughs> Maybe one of these. Maybe, Maybe not. Maybe it'll be someone new. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? When is the Royal Rumble? Um, probably 31st on January, the 31st. Really. Yeah. Probably on the 31st of January. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have time any sooner than that. Yeah, that's when the real one is. Oh, the well, 31st. that's when it is. Ours is the real one, you traitorous bastard. <laughs> Ours is the real one. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Unseen Walker. There is no Super Bowl this year, Ansi. They canceled it like a year ago when Tom Brady retired. So what's the point? <laughs> Although I will say this new kid that the uh, Tampa Bay Bucks have looks pretty good. They might be my pick. Uh, go all the way.
And here they are, former two heads champions, DOS Hats. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe Crutch, Matt Crutch or Cocky. But both of them got fired by Jim McMahon for underperforming. And you know that every single firing in the JFW sticks. So we'll probably never see them again. Are you ready, everybody? Say something good, Gorilla. What am I supposed to say? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all squished. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> It's almost like you're trying to steal someone's brand. <laughs> Can't figure out who. <laughs> well, that's pretty similar, isn't it? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> that's all right. I've been carrying this channel for you for about eight months now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And if you like the yep emote, be sure to sub to Scooter as well to complete your set. <laughs> Table egg. I think what you meant to say was, oh, I can't even do the yep emote. I can't even fucking do Oh, I'm not sub to you right now. Whoa. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> hey, we Chunk. Hey, you've got more yellow. Lemon is you. good. Vant Fox, they are dressed for business. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, Auntie. Fair enough. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, can... at least you got 30 days on your current sub because you were stupid enough to sub before your match. <laughs> <laughs> And here we go, tail as old as time, Lean Gary, Lemon is good, Lemon getting kicked in the stomach and punched, classic start, right off the bat, <laughs> Lean Gary taking it all over Lemon. Oh, like man, right, coming me. right back. <laughs> right back is Lemon is good going all over Lee and Gary here. These two teams know each other so well. Picks him up, drops him on the knee. <laughs> Very good, Cutty. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon is good. Brings uh, Lean Garrett over into the corner, looking for the tag to Fan Fox. Fan Fox tagging in. Ooh, big maneuver coming here. Double Ooh. stomp from the middle rope on to Lean Garrett. They've got him isolated. Got to keep him away from that corner. Keep the country wizard in his place. Yep. Yeah, I need more Wednesday of shit. I'm just having to be mad. I've been <laughs> fucked up for a month, haven't I, really? Maybe he's two months left. Maybe yeah, he's two. <laughs> we all know you're just biding your time for Blood Bowl 3, Jim. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Probably best if I don't hate Blood Bowl when Blood Bowl 3 comes out, isn't it? <laughs> I, it's not gonna. It's not gonna change anything. You're. You don't hate Blood Bowl now. You just don't like playing it. Yeah, that's true. It's stupid. Like I still love Blood Bowl. I love talking about it, think about it, watching it. I, just, I know how it goes. You just can't. Just can't let go. Just can't let go of this insatiable need to win a game. I just can't fucking play the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows JVG. No one knows. Probably never. <laughs> Confo <Cornfall> bezel. 
Oh, you never go full bezel. <laughs> Country Wizard all over. Fan Fox here strangling him in that corner. And just like that, Doss Hat's right back in it. Oh, well, thank you, Frosty. But I'm just, I just don't like playing it. That's the problem right now. I'm not even don't like fucking hate playing it. Oh, wow. Hey, what know. a maneuver. Yeah, absolutely. Nice counter into the DDT there. I will say, you don't hate playing it. You just hate losing at it. You just, you just worked yourself. You've, you've worked yourself into a shoot, Jim. <laughs> Where when the the slightest thing goes wrong and it's just waste of time. Blah 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 blah. And I hate it. You're perfectly happy playing Blood Bowl when you're winning it. That's true. Usually. Yeah. That's true. It was really, it was really enjoyable dicing the fuck out of Carhunt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Do who are you playing tomorrow? Uh, Chorf's Tshurgand. Oh, that, that could be rough. It could indeed. <laughs> Especially Fault Forces. <laughs> I've come around. I think one of the things that have saved my blood bowling is... Uh, is once once it starts going poorly for you, just hoping for the more and more insane things to happen. Because then you don't have to feel bad. Like, yeah. the more insane the game ends up being, the, the funnier it is. The difference is you just seem to think that losing a game of Blood Bowl means you're a worse human or a, or a dumber person. <laughs> it doesn't mean either of those things. But no. you can't seem to let go. No, I don't think that at all. It just fucking, it just well, you sure treat yourself like that. It just pisses me off. It just gets me down. I don't know. Anyway, back to the action in the ring. Oriolens is working over. Lemon is good. Tiring himself out. He is an old man there. <laughs> oh, he's really tired. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, we might have to call him. Someone dial 91, and then when I look at you, dial the last one. <laughs> oh, yeah, Cookie. Oh, with his coach. No problem. There it is that locks in the 150k dream. But Lemon able to fight his way out of it does not get put to sleep. Hey, table leg. Uh, no, no uh, table leg uh, or uh, Jimmy Fantastic on the card for Friday. Stand for maybe in two days, three days time on Monday Night Claw. Go uh, get yourself a match. <laughs> this oh, is uh, match number three. Oh, hey, we've had uh, we've had Ansi lose his job, uh, losing the triple threat Plum Plum Plus weight match. Oh my god! And we've had uh, <laughs> Night Demon successfully defend his Wemmed Up Championship versus Odorai. And yet somehow it's ten o'clock. Fucking hell! Is this really only the third match? I mean, that's kind of cruising through. We started a little late, I guess. Mm -hmm. But that uh, that triple threat was super long. Yeah. Yeah, this it's uh, it's but we've got a double header tonight, table leg of Stand Firm and Claw, because it, it, even though it's definitely Friday now. Even yeah, I was about to say, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not I'm not doing two shows on a Friday night, Jim. <laughs> I got things to do tonight on Friday night. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But I'll be back on Monday the 11th for uh, Monday Night Claw in three days' time. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely Friday right now. <laughs> I'll be right back. I had to refill my water. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Country Wizard just watching Lemon escape there. The old side Russian leg sweep. He's really tired, isn't he, Oriol Lenses here? Oriol oh, Lenses is driving that elbow down into Fant Fox, the country wizard. All over. Oh, a oh, cheap shot that, from that Lane cheap. Garrett. Absolutely. Classic <laughs> tag team maneuvering by these two. Slams the head into the boot as well, and now Lean Gary all over Ant Fox. 
Lemon is good. Not in his corner to help here. This could be at the walking stinger <laughs> splash. Yep. Oh, he got him. He got him. The classic Lemon walking now back spot. up in the corner. In fairness, that's probably how, like, 55-year-old Sting does the Stinger's Flash. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, he's tapped! Oh, he tapped! <laughs> he, he made a, the trapezius claw! Das Hats gets the win! Tapping out! Fanfox, <laughs> dressed for business, drops. Folks, we've seen that and matches now. The trapezius claw... Gets the tap out. <laughs> that's three times that's won matches in JFW history now. <laughs> what the hell? Fair enough. Well, Doss Hats, multi time champions coming at it one more time, saying they are the guys to go get cock and ball tortured. And if you remember, it was the country wizard Oriolensis who stood tall as long as he could in that uh, four-team elimination match or whatever it was. Yep. <laughs> six-team, six-team elimination match. Yeah. I don't know. And now, does Scotty probably in a pretty bad mood because his best buddy, Ansi, just got fired. Gonna take it out on none other than Dimmy fucking G. <laughs> no, cookie. <laughs> It just happened. <laughs> it just naturally yeah. happened. We we have no control of this. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a fucking battle of the brawlers, this isn't it? Timmy G and Discovery. Sure is. The Arsenal football hooligan versus the Geordie football hooligan. <laughs> Making his way to the ring. Jimmy G up the ass. <laughs> That's what they say, Arsenal. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Hello, Foxamania. Can't keep a good lemon down. <laughs> Chair crew. Well, Dimmy fucking G, the math legend himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, damn, I love three plus one equals <laughs> Oh man, every time I forget to cut his entrance. <laughs> I don't know how. I, I see it when I close my eyes. Burned <laughs> into my retinas. Here's opponent. From Newcastle, on time. England, weighing in at 321 pounds. Oh, fuck about. <laughs> Mike Ashley Fritz. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I always do. I always do, Discotti. I kick my legs up, pull my pants down, and grab my... What? It's a good entrance. It's a good entrance, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, you can see to Scotty <laughs> dancing like that every Monday in the powerhouse. <laughs> well, before COVID anyway. <laughs> oh, what a what a brutal spear from Dimmy fucking G.
<laughs> that I know the Scotty. <laughs> yeah, and sure enough, the Scotty out here with a chip on his shoulder, powering through Dimmy G right now. Yep, a chip on his shoulder, and probably several of them uh, <laughs> squirreled away inside his suit in case he gets hungry. <laughs> Scotty should be the Greg's mascot, yeah. <laughs> well, Ansi, you know, we do like having you guys uh, film yourselves for uh, pros and uh, and whatnot. I think uh, your buddy there, Descotti, should absolutely, um, you know, after signing a hold harmless clause, uh, record himself doing the intro dance. <laughs> Oh man, my, Actually, wait, my this... dream about J5 was amazing, honestly. <laughs> he, he, yeah. Like, you know, it was. A, we, I dreamt that we got him to film a promo for JFW. And he came down and. We, on we his, did that. Yeah, no, no, but. <laughs> and what it was was he comes <laughs> down on his skateboard and he starts doing the work. <laughs> and he does, you know, like. He starts going around and he lands on it. You can see him wince when he lands on his knee. <laughs> And then he does it again. <laughs> and it gives his knee buckles and he just like staggers forward into the dirt and stuff. It was amazing. I gotta, I gotta say, that's a... Oh my god, he just kicked him across the ring. He did. It was <laughs> Holy shit. I gotta say, all my dreams about J5 and worms are very, very different. Far <laughs> more sexual. <laughs> Yeah, it was great because after seeing him do the video, it was just the, I just dreamt about the real Johnny Five. It was amazing. <laughs> the Scotty is no old bard on fucking Dimmy G right now. He's wrecking him. He just yeah, he's pointing to the back. He misses his buddy. I don't think Ansi is uh, gone from our lives in the JFW. <laughs> if the Scotty has any say in that. Oh God, Jackknife powerbomb. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, roll him for Dimmy! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Just the one down. That would have been amazing. <laughs> it would, wouldn't it? Holy shit. <laughs> Dimmy G. Fighting dirty. That's the classic Dimmy. Make it look like he fell out of his chair, but really, he's exactly where he wanted to be. Catching <laughs> Scotty off guard. <laughs> Yeah, man, the surprise roll-up, it's, it's a classic, yeah. well, isn't it? Well, well, Ancy, it's not a women's match, so it's probably not going to end the match. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oof, big back, but that looked like it hurt Scotty. Or, excuse me, hurt uh, <laughs> Dimmy as much as it did to Scotty. <laughs> Yeah, apart from the low blow. <laughs> well, a low blow the most common match ender in the JFW. I think that's a fucking certainty. <laughs> yep. That or, that or a double count out. <laughs> nice comeback here by Dimmy G. What the fuck is he doing? Okay. I think he thought that was badass looking. It looked like he had spiders on his shoulders. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. oh. Drops his gut right on the knees. Is that it for Ants? Or excuse me, Discotti. No, oh, two Could count be. kick out. The half crab. That's the de <laughs> that's the move that beat EAB. Never forget it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that match. <laughs> Scotty right back in and right back on. Oh, Look it's at the this, three the trip plate. Uh, Espria, Sheeran, and Ferdinand. <laughs> now that his finisher that I've got no idea what it is. Oh yes, yeah, the package power driver. Oh god. Oh he hits it. Is that gonna do it? That might do it. Here's the pinfall attempt on Descotti. Excuse me, god damn it. And he's good. And, yep, sure enough. Descotti getting the big win. <laughs> And that one, you gotta know, he did it for his bro, Ansi. Gone yeah. but not forgotten, Descotti victorious. 
And now the fellow thugs shake hands. <laughs> yeah. Now that was the three, wasn't it? When when they were around, you know, in the nineties, it was a spree of Ferdinand and Shiro on it with a. I don't know if they would call the three amigos. Probably not because Geordies wouldn't know a foreign word. But I'm sure they were called something. <laughs> a sprilla. All right, and next up, um, it's a backstage brawl between somebody, whoever was advertised. Yes, definitely. Come on, man. Uh, all right, well, folks, we have a backstage brawl between Ardvac and Chug scheduled. Should be one hell of a match, and there certainly won't be anything preempting it. No, definitely not. Let's go to the scheduled backstage brawl between them. Oh, wait a minute! Hey, hey wait a second! That's Flicky Flack and JBG! Flicky Flack attacking JBG! JBG's got a title match next against Mr. Jims McMahon. Flicky Flack going right after him, and uh, what's going on here? Is he trying to soften up JBG to impress Mr. Jims McMahon? Flicky Ooh, has been uh, notoriously bummed out and pissed off. Oh, Jesus been pissed off recently about not getting enough TV time wants that world title more than anything and uh, I think he's planted his flag so to speak right into JBG <laughs> oh Christ oh my goodness absolute oh. savagery here from Flicky Fl Flicky's got I mean JBG's got a title match next yeah. This has got to be coordinated. Flicky's got to be working with Mr. Jims McMahon or at, bar at barest of minimums trying to impress Mr. Jims McMahon going out and soft. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Bouncing off him. But it's a, I don't know, helping your boss get the title. Maybe not the best thing uh, for your own prospects to get in that title. <laughs> maybe not. Disgusting here from Flicky. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, Bezel, nothing can really live up to that, though. <laughs> yep, Flicky was going. in earlier bitching about not getting on the card. It <laughs> looks like he left. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. JBG, your world heavyweight champion in serious trouble right now, has to fight off Flicky Flack backstage and then get out for a title match against Mr. Jims McMahon himself. Oh boy. Oh, savage. <laughs> yeah, of course, Flicky Flack, not from Yorkshire, but lives in Yorkshire. Maybe, uh, maybe oh, that's yeah. added a bit of spice to this. Oh, I, I didn't actually know that, all right. I thought he was from, like, Sunderland or something. He is from Sunderland, yeah, but he lives in Yorkshire. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, and there it is, the flack hammer, and he's put JBG down and out. What the fuck was that flicky flack attacking the world champ? And, folks, now it is time for a main event. Somebody get a uh, fucking spatula so we can peel him off the <laughs> carpeting there and get ready for Mr. Jim McMahon versus Johnny B. Good for the World Heavyweight Championship. This is looking terrible for JBG. It sure is. <laughs> A savage, a savage attack from Flicky Mr. Flack. Mr. Jim McMahon saying he's the, he, uh, the cream who rises to the top, but why wait for it to rise? He's already up there, and he's looking to just claim his own titles and do it his own goddamn self, I guess. But yeah, uh, true, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how well this vanity project's going to carry with the JFW universe. <laughs> Oh fuck, I still got that. Making his way to the ring. From Newcastle upon time. Oh Holy wait a second! Shit. Wait! Tony plays poorly with a chair! Coming out hitting him with a sack! 
He's knocked his sack out of his hands. Tony plays poorly, has gone rogue, folks. He's going after Mr. Jim McMahon on the... Oh, no! Oh, well, this might be a reprieve for JBG. Tony plays poorly, coming to the rescue, going right after the boss, letting him know he's no longer putting up <laughs> with this bullshit. Oh, my God! Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, but here comes Mr. Jim's McMahon. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Tony. Stop being shit. And Jim's coming right back after Tony plays poorly. <laughs> Sends him in the ring. And folks, I think this might be preempting our title match here. <laughs> Mr. Jim McMahon going after Tony. Tony taking it right back to him. Running Bulldog <laughs> puts him down and out. And that is going to do it for Mr. Jim McMahon tonight. No title match. Tony plays poorly. Uh, making certain of that. And it looks like Tony is uh, completely fed up. With the way Mr. Jim McMahon's been running things, and I don't think that's going to be the end of things between those two. But, folks, that is it for Friday. Stand firm. Have yourselves a lovely week and enjoy some football. Try and relax for the next three days. We will see you on Monday night for Monday Night Claw. Same time, same place. My name is Gorilla Mezzo, and I will see you next week. Yep, thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.